Okay, the next thing that we're going to look at is we're going to look at how you get photos into your video projects. This is a really simple process. And what I've done is I've gone to my photo browser right here. This is the button that looks like a camera. And it shows me a list of all the different sources where I can get my photos. And primarily it wants to look in iPhoto. But you can also, for example, use Photo Booth. You can get them out of Photo Booth if you've already taken photos there. So once you've hooked up your camera, your iPhone, your iPod, your iPad, whatever, <clears throat> to your computer and moved your photos into iPhoto, you've imported them into there, they'll all show up listed here. So for example, I can take this photo of this fish and I can simply click and drag it to where I want it in my timeline and I'm going to release it and it pops it right in there automatically. And I can do that as many times as I want. Take this picture of the Texas the Theater and drop it in there and so on. Now by default it makes these photos last uh, three and a half, four and a half seconds you can see here. This one was three and a half seconds, 3.6. This one was four and a half. I can change all of these by going into my settings just like I could with a video clip. Going into the clip adjustments and I can change the time. So for example if I want that picture to last longer I can say five seconds. I can also add effects. For example if I want a romantic glow to that largemouth bass, I can do that. And I can go to the video window and it actually will allow me to adjust things like the exposure, the contrast, and so on. Uh, the white point, clicking on that, I can make it more yellow or more green or whichever I want. Click done when I'm finished. And I can do the same thing up here if I need to. Alright, so that is all there is to getting photos inserted into your project timeline.